have uh, seen it in cases brought through the diagnostic lab at the University of Kentucky. And um, the history on this particular case was that it was a three or four day year old, a three or four day old calf. Uh, it was a Gelby. Uh, it was born just uh, south of Lexington, Kentucky. And uh, it was weak from birth. And the, the producers tried to treat it with everything and do everything, and it still died. Brought it to the diagnostic lab. Every test we have, we t can test for lepto different ways through fluorescent antibodies, through antibodies, through uh, the bacterial isolation. Well, all three ways were, it, were uh, diagnosed uh, and were positive. So we were definitive that it was leptosporosa. Uh, and uh, it was Harjo bovis is the major problem that we see. We see Pomona a little bit, but uh, Harjo bovis is, is the primary serovar that causes problems. So that's one particular farm in case that I was directly involved with. And then another farm that had um, bought a bull from uh, an organization and had some poor conception rates, uh, tested the bull, the bull was fine. So we went and, and looked at the cows um, and did some blood tests and we suspected leptospirosis. I decided to uh, try to get urine and send it off to Michigan State for diagnosis. and none of them came back despite all of the treatment with Lasix and, and multiple t samples of urine from multiple animals. We weren't able to get it, but it suggested on that particular farm with uh, antibodies to lepto, especially one serovar, and they had never vaccinated for lepto that they knew of. So we were very suspicious of lepto. Um, only when we isolate it can we be definitive.